Hello, VC. How are the mosquito bites treating you? I'm uh, coming to you today from my studio, wearing my painting clothes. And I think this probably will be the last installment of um, record stores that I've been going to in LA. There are many others, but most of the other ones I grabbed two records from or two, three records. It's not really worth um, mentioning a whole store. But I definitely saved the best for the last. And this record store is actually not in LA. It's down in Huntington Beach. It's called Blind Dog Hi-Fi. And I've been down there three times in the last maybe three months. So it's a pretty big haul. And, you know, when I show the records, I'm basically just going to do like a flip through, kind of flip in show, or else it would just take so long to talk about them. And a lot of them um, are recent and I haven't spent enough time with them or listened to them enough to really make any great judgments on what I think about them. Um, you know, it takes a while to just clean them up and get them organized. So this collection all comes from one audiophile collection. Um, really amazing collection. And what I'm showing you is just a fraction of what's there. I mean, there, there are just so many records there. You could spend a hundred grand and not have all of them, you know? And this is just the classical. I looked through the boxes of the jazz stuff. Um, the owner is a really nice guy. He let me dig through some of the boxes to grab some of these records, and then he just kind of priced them up really quick as we were there. But a lot of them are also out on the shelves. There's two listening rooms there. Uh, I didn't listen to any of the equipment or speakers or anything. Um, but there's shelves in there of all the... One room has all the classical, another room has all the jazz. Um, I didn't even really want to look through the jazz too much because it was just too much. I mean, first pressings of everything, Impulse, Riverside, Blue Note, just all the labels, first pressings, second pressings, super immaculate condition. Um, any record you probably want is there. This is a massive audiophile collection. And so the condition of all of these is near mint for the most part. Some records have a little couple clicks here and there, whatever, nothing major, nothing has crackle or scratches or anything like that. Um, and he prices them fairly. I don't feel like I'm getting gouged there. And I also feel like the more I buy in bulk, the better deal I get on things. Um, but it's very fairly priced, usually right around like Discogs median value. So it's definitely not one of those places where, you know, because a record sold for $300 once five years ago, that's what they're charging you for it. It's really off of the, the median value. And just super nice guy. Also, it's nice to go there and just hang out with him and talk to him about records. He's super into records. So I'm shooting this after I did the flip through and I missed a few records and that's fine. But I did want to show that aside from the classical, I did pick up this record. This is um, Saturday Night Wrist by the Deftones. This was sealed mint um, first Maverick pressing. And it's really awesome. It's also on two albums. And I, about a week ago, I took this over to Michael Poetry on Plastic's house and we just blasted the shit out of this record on his system and it sounded so fantastic. If you can ever find a copy of this first press, I would grab it. So in my opinion, this is definitely the best record store in Southern California. Currently, I mean, when this collection is gone, who knows, it's probably still a great record store. But for classical, for jazz, um, it's an incredible, incredible collection. 
And they do have a bunch of stuff on Discogs also, if you just look up Blind Dog Hi-Fi. They'll ship it to you if you're not in LA. Okay, that's enough babbling. Let's um, cut over to the flipping. Bye-bye. Okay, so first up, here's some decas. Here's the Mendelssohn and Bruck Violin Concertos by Ricci. Fire Nights in the Gardens of Spain. It's a nice um, wide band. Peter Catton with Adrian Bolt, Rachmaninoff and Tchaikovsky concertos, wide band. Here's the um, Brahms 1, Brahms 2, Brahms 3. These are all wide band. And just, I don't know if you can see such good condition, like look at these sleeves even. Beethoven, back house, piano concerto number one and number two. Invitation to the Dance by Wolf and the Paris Conservatoire Orchestra. Rachmaninoff Concerto Two, Katchen Schulte, wide band. Brahms Clarinet Quintet, Wagner Adagio for Clarinet and String Quartet, members of the Vienna Octet, love this record. Uh, Scheherazade Answer Me, Wide Band, Mozart Symphony 40 and 41, Giulini. I've listened to this one a few times. This record is amazing. Performance is great, sound is stellar. I think this is an addition to Bizet Symphony in C, Alexander Gibson. Schumann and Grieg Piano Concertos, LSO with Previn. Um, the Grieg Piano Concerto on this one is fantastic. Beethoven 9, Answer Me. Britain Serenade for Tenor Horn and Strings, Peter Pearsbury Tuckwell, LSO conducted by Britain. Schubert Symphony 3 and Symphony 6, Vienna Phil Kertesz. Schubert number nine, Israel Phil with Zubin Mehta. This is a great version of this. Beethoven six, Vienna Phil, Schmidt Eiserstadt. So this is Britain and Hindemith, members of the Vienna Octet. Um, this one is probably my sleeper favorite of all of these decas. The sound on this one is so fantastic. Um, of course, the Vienna Octet, amazing group, same group that did the Schubert Trout. Um, the performance is fantastic. Um, I love both of these pieces. They're a little bit modern. Highly recommend this record. Here's an Ace of Diamonds. Um, I actually have this on an analog phonic, so it will be interesting to compare the two. Elgar, Introduction and Allegro Serenade for Strings, Neville Mariner, Academy St. Martin in the Fields. Also really stunning sounding record. Um, a later Argo on the square. Now some Columbia SAXs. This is Strauss's Don Quixote, Don Juan, Pierre Fournier on the cello. Amazing cello tone on this whole record. Um, Zell, Cleveland. So a silver and blue label. Uh, Brahms Violin Sonatas 1 and 2, Igor Oystrak. Silver and blue. There's another version of uh, Three Cornered Hat by Faya. And some pieces from Daphnis and Chloe. Uh, Carlo Maria Giulini, Philharmonia Orchestra. Silver and blue label. Klemperer Beethoven 9. This is actually a double album. I haven't listened to this one yet. Uh, looking forward to it a lot.
There's a Stravinsky Symphony in Three Movements, Klemperer. It's a Half Moon label. Brahms Symphony in Four, Klemperer. Half Moon label. Claudio Rao, Beethoven Emperor. Silver and Blue label. Then these are some Testaments. Um, Oystrak Encores on the Silver and Blue Testament. Leonid Kogan, Brahms Violin Concerto. Nice Maria Callas record. This one was like $10, so I picked it up. Mono. Bruckner's third was Schurich. Beethoven 7, Cantelli. And the Testament version of uh, Scheherazade, Thomas Beecham. And the Strauss Last Four Songs, Elizabeth Schwarzkopf, Zell, Testament. Now, a really nice stash of uh, His Master's Voice. This is Andre Cloutin, Beethoven's Fifth, Berlin Phil, original label. Berlioz Symphony Fantastique, Beecham. Cantos de España, Victoria de los Ángeles. Um, I listened to this a couple times already. Really beautiful album. Uh, Rafael Forbeck de Burgos. Original label. Dvorak's Cello Concerto with Rostropovich. Bolt Conducting. Original. There's another copy of this one. This was cheap, so I picked up both. Strauss, Four Last Songs. This is actually not even really one of my favorite records. Um, I would much, much rather listen to this. So... I may give this one a listen and sell it or whatever. It's on a Half Moon label. This list, Faust Symphony with Beecham. This also is double, double disc. Um, the original labels. Really nice copy of Lollipops, Beecham. I have a later copy of this, but this one on the red and gold labels. Another Beecham, some Grieg, Piergen on the uh, Big Dog labels. There's a Delius Comp from Beecham, red and gold. Menuhin Brahms Violin Concerto with Berlin Phil Rudolf Kemp, red and gold. Bizet Symphony in C, Lalo Symphony in G Major, Beecham, red and gold. Piano Concerto Number no. 1, Sifra, red and gold. Beecham, Schubert 3 and 5 with the Royal Phil. Red and gold. There's another Menuhin, Beethoven Violin Concerto, Constantine Silvestri in Vienna Phil. This is the second label. This is a really great Barbaroli uh, Finlandia, Sibelius, it's a postage stamp. The classic uh, Barbaroli, Jacqueline Dupre, Elgar Cello Concerto, postage stamp. Carlo Maria Giulini, Bruckner number two. This is a really, really great recording. This one, I listened to this yesterday. Some Stravinsky Concerto in D. This, I've never heard this combo before. Um, the LA Chamber Orchestra with Neville Mariner conducting, kind of a weird combo. Um, Excited to hear this one. I haven't gotten to it yet. Uh, Previn LSO, Rachmaninoff second, it's a postage stamp. 
classic Previn LSO with the Symphony Number no. Six and Prokofiev's Lieutenant QJ postage stamp. Bizet Symphony in C, Barenboim. Elgar Symphony Number no. Two, Sir Adrian Bolt. I had been looking for this one for a while, so I was very happy to find it. This is a postage stamp, but it has the angel stickers over the labels. This one also I've been looking for for a very long time. Um, I love all of the Berglund recordings with Bournemouth, um, all the Sibelius ones. And I had never heard this version, and I'm super excited to clean this one up and listen to it. I've been hunting for this one for a while. Here's Milstein with the Glazunov and Dvorak concertos, again with Raphael Forbach de Burgos. New Philharmonia Orchestra, this is on the second label. Shostakovich V, Chicago Symphony with Previn. Uh, this has the Odeon labels over it. Another one I've been looking for for a while and could never find a copy of. This is Oystrak doing Shostakovich Violin Concerto Number no. 1. And this box on two discs of uh, Barbaroli doing Mahler's Symphony 5. Now some Londons. Uh, I think almost all of these are bluebacks. Maybe one of them isn't. Uh, Tchaikovsky 4 by Albert Wolf, Paris Conservatory. Classic right here, Albanez, Iberia, and Turina Dances Fantasticas by Anserme, the Orchestra de Swiss Roman. Tchaikovsky number no. five, Crips with Vienna. Tchaikovsky five again with Schulte with the Paris Conservatory. Bolt doing Tchaikovsky Suite three and six. This is a really fantastic album. I've been looking for this one for a little bit too, never found a really clean copy. Bartok Music for Strings, Percussion, and Celesta. Um, Orchestra Swiss Roman Ernest Anserme. And this one, I believe, is one of the rare Londons that didn't come out as a DECA SXL. It was released as a London. Here's Haydn 96 and 104. Munchinger, Vienna Phil. Here's an analog phonic that I grabbed. It was a decent price. I'd never heard this one. Starker Italian Sonatas. Really, really beautiful cello tone on this. Great record. Here's a copy of the Montu with Stravinsky, Petrushka, and Firebird Suite. This is the one that goes for all the money. I don't know why. It's um, First Press UK Living Stereo. Um, I listen to it. Sounds really nice. It's not mind-blowing, but it sounds really great. And then a couple of um, American pressings, a couple Living Stereos. This is Berlioz Herald in Italy. Primrose as the soloist. I just didn't have a copy of this, so I picked it up. I focused more on trying to grab the British releases because these living stereos, I feel like you can find anywhere. But to get this in really good condition like this, um, Indianapolis Shaded Dog, and this WC Images for Orchestra. This is Munch, Boston. And last up, a couple of Mercuries that I just didn't have that were in really good condition, really nice price. So here's Concerto One by Byron Janis. And last, here's Tchaikovsky's Serenade in C Major. Um, Durati Philharmonia Hungarica. Nice copy on the maroon labels. And that's that for the flip through.